Surf fishing, Jesse. Yes, we're down at Gunnamatta. We are on the Mornington Peninsula. Mate, we're not doing the traditional rod holder, bait, and all the rest of it. No, we're being a bit more mobile, going with the lure method. Got some metal lures to flick, some nice rods to have a crack with. Yes, yeah, so we've got some new Robexes. Um, I went down and saw the good folk at Jarvis Walker and they've set us up with a couple of very nice combos to use. So we'll, we'll go into detail a little bit later about them. But uh, today, our main target is just to get a salmon off the beach, mate, in the wash. Yeah. I mean, you got one at Kilcunda, a little baby one. Two. But two, okay. <laughs> but we want a little bit bigger, yeah. um, hopefully a couple and a good day's fishing. Look guys, I, I love this sort of fishing. I love surf fishing, I love the beaches, stretching from here all the way up to the 90 mile and all around Australia's real coastline, to be honest. Yeah. Um, so this is, this is just the sort of fishing I love to do. Well, when you're surf fishing, the first thing you do when you get to a surf beach is you have a look at the waves and you've got to look for the gutters. So you get up on the highest sand dune you can. Now, a good way to improve that is by wearing a very good set of polarized sunglasses. And that's why we wear tonic sunglasses because we can see all the detail in the water and sometimes you can even see the schools of fish. When you're casting for salmon, you do that big cast and you start reeling, never think you can't reel too quick. You'll never, and I mean never, outrun a salmon with a lure. If they want it, they'll get it. So you always give a couple of good flicks like that and reel nice and quick. Now what I'm looking for, and like I said earlier, is the gutters. Now I found the two gutters. We've got a gutter here and we've got a gutter on, on the other side. We've got a bit of white water in the middle. This can prove a really good hunting ground for salmon because they run in and out the white water in the wash looking for food. And they'll go into the deep channel, into the gutter, and then back in the whitewash. And that's how they sort of feed along the beach. So that's generally where I'll start flicking a lure. All right, that's what we come here for, little salmon. Great little fighting fish off the beach, they really are. Nice clean fish, he's pretty healthy. We're gonna get him back in the water nice and quick. Try and get another one. Got it on the, um, like a shock wave. Good beveled edges, so it's got some good action in the water. And obviously the fish liked it. All right, mate, you're going back in. When you're walking up and down sand dunes and beaches and surf beaches and you're flicking lures, you're gonna want the gear to be as light as possible. Now, the combo I've got is an eight foot, four to eight kilo uh, Robex Big Boss. Now, there's the Robex Revenge and there's the Robex Big Boss. They're fantastic rods for doing this sort of fishing. Now, eight foot is a perfect size for flicking out just past the breakers because you don't want it too long, you don't want it too short. Eight foot's a perfect size. Uh, we're running the Quantum Smoke Inshore 40 with 15 pound braid with a 15 pound shock leader. Now. These reels are very light, they're very smooth. And then we've got down here is we've got the slim line, the swim wave, sorry, we've got a shock wave and slim waves. They're the lures we're using today on the surf. Now that's a 56 gram lure. That combos up really well with the 15 pound uh, fluorocarbon to get the lure out there. And it's nice and light and it gets to the waves quickly. And if you do get onto a big fish, this will handle it. This is a good fish, man. He just wants to run up the yeah. gutter. Here it comes. Oh, you oh got yes. Nice. What a nice salmon. That is an absolute cracker. That is a beautiful, beautiful salmon. That's just over the kilo mark and that's 
what I was really hoping for. And this thing, these things fight so well off the beach. I'm absolutely with brilliant, brilliant fight. There's a school going through, Jesse just hooked on, lost it. I cast right behind him and hooked it. So, they're getting them up and down the beach. Great size fish, great fighting fish. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Yep, yep. Yep, he's on, he's on. Oh, he's a good fish. <laughs> oh, he's got a bit of weight to him. Yeah, they do, mate. Yeah. I'll get Feels this. like a nice fish. Good buckle on the rod. <laughs> got to be very careful on the surf. Very easy for salmon to spin a hook. Ah! Oh, yeah, he lost him in the wash. In the white water. <laughs> oh, I saw it though. Oh, uh, bugger. <laughs> Try again. Get it out there, mate. Yep. There we go. All right. Beautiful. That's all we came here for. Another one. Just get. <laughs> Good thing about these big lures, you can grab hold of them, get the fish to your body, and hold on tight before the uh, trebles come loose and go straight in your finger. We're running out of sunlight, but we've had a great day. It's been fantastic. And that's what we wanted. They're such a good fight off the surf, and especially this light gear, they're absolutely fantastic. You can't ask for much more than that on the Australian Victorian coast, unless you're fishing at night for gummies, which we also like to do. So, <laughs> so there we go. Australian salmon around the kilo mark, and geez, they put up a fantastic fight. Down here at Melbourne Marine Centre, I'm here with Jamie. Now, Jamie, there's one thing I love about tackle shops is the uniqueness of them and what's in different shops. Yes, we can have a quite a range of different product away from fishing. So, so I've just I've just had a quick look around the shop and I've seen a couple of things that just caught my eye. I'm going, wow, what's that? What's that? What's that? One of them I knew, which was. And that's this thing? The burly bum, the secret weapon they call that. They do call it the secret weapon, mate. Now what does this thing do? So this one's actually got the weight in it, so we customise it so it can get to the bottom a lot quicker. Mm -hmm. So pretty much with this one here, it's just you've got a flap that opens up. Yep. You feed all your burly pellets or pilchards or whatever burly base that you've got. This will close up, holding onto the string, and this will just get dropped to the bottom, give it a couple of yanks, and that will just release all the burley. Right where the fish are. Right where the fish are, and just right in the zone where we need it. So this is great for, say, Western Port fish shows? Uh, to get it right down at the bottom of their boat with that flowing tide. Yeah, it just gets gets a burly start before you start fishing. It just helps yep. get that burly in the water. And, and just maybe a, a tip too to the Western Port Fish Shows, do it on around about the last hour of the tide change. Definitely. It's at the slowest point. Um, you do that a couple of times and it'll put a nice drift out and get the fish to the back of your boat. Yeah, in Portfield Bay, any time the tide's oh, no worries. Course. Yeah, yeah that's it. Beautiful. So that's the uh, secret weapon. Well, that's one. Okay, now I saw this. Looks like a hair clip. Well, we want to hear you with one of those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, mate, what does this thing do? I'm so, gonna, you, you explain so, that. I'm going to go get a fishing rod. So this go. clip here, you clip it onto the top foregrip of your rod. Your line will feed down the back here. will clip straight into here. And it just pretty much stores your sinker. If it's a star sinker, a snapper sinker. So that go goes on underneath. there. And that goes on when you clip that up. Yep, line will feed through. And I'll just lock it in so it's not swinging around and <laughs> taking yeah. people's eyes out. Put it on at the same time. You got that? And it holds your sinker in there. Saves them swinging around, especially when you go on the back of the boat and you're driving home and you're watching these sinkers go. Yep. Or walking down to the beach or walking onto the pier just helps it. That's fantastic. Now, another one, mate, another one. Now, if anyone's like me, I lose my keys on a daily basis. A the, key boy. The key boy. So, with this key boy, 
pretty much it's water activated. As soon as it hits the water, it will inflate. So you end up with a... A bit like a PFD. Yeah, so you end up with this orange... Balloon, balloon apparatus. Balloon apparatus, yeah, yeah. That comes out of it, and you'll be able to find it. It'll be just floating on the surface. Well, you'd hope so. Hoping you'll never use it, but <laughs> it's there if it comes. Oh, I reckon I should get one of them before I leave here. Now, mate, this I love. <laughs> the sucker. Now, I'm a sucker as a tackle rat to buy different things when I'm in tackle shops. What is that? So this helps keeping your drink up straight without tipping anything over. All right, keep my drink up straight, mate. So you pretty much round bit of neoprene, just feed that over to the, over the top of your bottle. Get that to the bottom. Now, we can't get that stuck on there. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. That is fantastic. That's why they call it a little sucker. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> That'd be great up on the dash of your boat when you're going over those waves. That's fantastic, mate. I absolutely yeah, love no, it. Yeah, that's a good thing to have for the sake of well, 10 95 I think, yeah. for that. It's definitely something having a boat. If it's in the glove box, then it's there, ready to go. That's brilliant, mate. I absolutely love it. Well, these are the sort of different things you can see at tackle shops like this one. So get down to Melbourne Marine Centre and find all the different bits and pieces that they have here. And um, it makes fishing so much more fun and easy, mate. That's it. Every time I walk down the jetty, I've got to look in the water just to see if I can see that one lonely fish. Matty? How are you, boys? How are you, mate? Good. What's happening? Oh, mate. Just hey, need to get out for a fish, buddy. So, come to help me get some bait. Yeah, mate. All right. You don't have to ask Matty twice, he's already in the water. Well, I'm here with a man that needs no introduction to fishing in Victoria, and that's Matt Sini. We're, uh, we're out here with a bit of hunting and gathering going on, but today is more gathering, Matt. That's right, mate. Yeah, we're trying to get a few squid for our little little journey. Yes, mate, we're, we're going for a journey up to, uh, to Nelson. That's right. On the Glenelg River to hunt those big, silver, beautiful, beasts of fish. That's right, big chromies they call them. <laughs> oh, unicorns. Well, if we're lucky enough to get a big chromie, but there's been plenty of uh, plenty of school fish down there, which would make any person happy, even me. Well, um, mate, I've seen what you've been catching, and um, every time I say, like, we've got to get this on camera, because this is amazing. Yeah. You've seen those photos, mate, and, and very happy customers of yours, because you're doing, you're doing charters as well for this? Yeah, yeah, I've been, I've been the last few years just sort of doing it for myself and good customers, yep. um, and it's sort of started to get a little bit more... Um, um, I don't know, people are starting to show interest in it, yeah. obviously, and uh, the, the guys that we have taken there, to see their faces, um, not only for the fish, for the for the scenery, Yeah. Um, it's almost like going barra fishing, but it's cold. It's, it's a beautiful the, part of the country. Right <laughs> but the scenery is second to none. It you, you just sit there in bliss, yes. um, and, and then the fish are a bonus, you know. Um, but yeah, luck, whoop. Well, uh, so yeah, no, looking forward to getting down there, mate, and yeah, um, hopefully both. getting a few fish. Um, both, just, both to eat and let go. And, um, yeah, well, that's right. And yeah. uh, we've just got to hope for the weather. I mean, it's beautiful now, but it's meant to turn to uh, marsh around about Saturday, Sunday. So let's see how we go. Yeah, we'll be right. We've got a big boat. <laughs> okay, so Nixon's jigging one, I'm jigging one, Matt's jigging one, and we've got a couple of static baits just hanging over the back in different um, parts of the water column. They do exist. I finally, I had to drive the boat from here, change it from tuna to whiting and squid, and <laughs> he's done an oil filter. I've done a head gasket. And this is all I want, because without this, we ain't catching jewfish. Yes, well. Oh, there's another one behind him. Yeah, I'll get the jig Come bring your jig over here, buddy. Oh, oh he's on as well. He's on as well, the young fella. Is there one there? Look at him. He's just underneath. So we can turn... This is the best part about squid fishing. Look at that, he's a nice one too. Visual aspect of it. Oh, that's a lovely... Um... There it goes. Oh, no! Oh, you get ya. Mate, I've just cleaned your boat. Oh, well, no. Well it, is, the... well, it is nice and clean. Oh, not the boat. It's, I've got me good clothes and a mum will get up. So oh. <laughs> yes, we've got... It was unclean. There you go. There you go, buddy. Yeah, 
Oh, Back of the head. Oh, another one here too. Straight alive, Will. Oh, you bugger. Just chuck him straight in the, uh, yeah, mate, there it is. Straight in the live bait tank. Well, <laughs> it's going on everywhere. We got rods going everywhere. It's, there we go, Nixon's on again. This is almost like snapper fishing, but for squid. I'll oh, bring him in, mate. You got him? <laughs> Perfect time too with this sun setting. I think my ADD got the better of us with me rushing around like a headless chicken. Should know better being a fisherman that there's no rush and as that sun sets. Look at that mate, that is that is the primo right there. It's beautiful little calamari rings off that about an inch thick and we can definitely half that head and we'll get some beautiful baits out of that. Oh, I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> and it has. It's been well it's been since since April the twentieth that I've been on Port Phillip Bay. Really? Yeah. Been up at Portland. Oh, right. And you're gonna be up there for a little while longer, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. You're only down for one day. This squid is actually tangled. Yeah, he's on your sinker, look at that. He's on the drop shot. He's not even on the jig. Because I do a lot of fishing in Western Port, I rarely use a drop shot rig. I've noticed Maddie's using one, and uh, for good reason. We're fishing in about eight meters of water, so it gets your get your squid down, squid jig down there really fast. Now the way it works, it's just simple: Panonosta rig, squid jig off to the side. You sink her a little bit further down, so that way that's on the bottom of the sand. This is a little bit higher, and it bounces along with the way of the boat. Or you can jig it. There's a lot of different ways you can use it, um, and it seems to be a lot more effective out here. So that's what I've just swapped over to. And we've kept a few static ones just hanging over the back around mid-water. <laughs> Jump in that photo. Um, oh, hang on, I'll get you. Turn around the way. Hold the squid next to the lead of the camera. Out the front, so we're just going to be honest. I don't want to get you in front. Hey! Massive. Oh no. There's a massive squid down there. Yeah, go over there, Nixon, go over and get it. Yeah, darling. Get your squid in. Someone get this point. Yeah, He's a bang up. Just um, light that oh, up for yeah, me, mate. Yeah, then I can. Using a light off the camera to light this. If you want to turn that right up. There we go. Yeah, because then we can leave the light there. Are you sure? Yeah. Now, if we uh, turn that all the way off. Is that one of these? Is that one? Okay. <laughs> oh, how's that for Just timing? Just rolling and it's on. Well, Maddie, it's been a fantastic night, mate. 
Um, I think it's been mission, mission he just dropped it. Mission accomplished. And um, let's pack this camera away so we'll just keep smacking a few more squid. Yes. And yep. next time you see us, we'll be in Nelson. And uh, hopefully we're smashing something else. That's right, yes. And right. We, will, uh, we will give it a fair dink and crack. We, we've got our bait. Yep. It's been a pleasure fishing for bait with you. Yes, after, you too, mate. After finishing your, your mad rushing concreting and, oh, then, it's a, and it me rushing last, and then... Last minute thing today, I'll tell you. But um, it's all come together really nicely in the end. I like that. I like yeah. it when things all come together. So yeah. we'll get back to you when we're in the, uh, in the Glenelg River. <laughs> yep. Hopefully with uh, a buckled rod. Glenelg River, Victoria, giving back is good, love it.